Hi everyone, it's Rhonda and it's on a Friday and it's a very sunny day here. So I thought I'd make the promised video of Angie's Happy Mail, <clears throat> sorry, um, envelope booklet. And I've studied this and then Angie was so kind and she sent me the instructions of how she created this. And so we'll just go through it real quickly. This is what we'll be making today. It's simple, it's a, a small, but packed with fun. And made with envelopes, an envelope. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. What you'll need, obviously, is a an envelope and then what you do is I just took these are so old I just took my ruler and opened the sides and for some reason when I I purchased these they had been opened at the bottom not at the top so you just have to go with it that way and then open it up and that is your cover and then you'll need two postcards and you will need a book page. Um, a ledger sheet, I made a copy of one. And some tea stained paper. And a music sheet, music page. And then I would say go ahead and pull a couple images and then some stamps and um, ephemera, original ephemera. And things that, here's another image, this one's from Angie. And here's just some choices of ephemera that I pulled and a little book, another little book page. <clears throat> so we will get these organized. That's the paper portion. And then, <clears throat> instead of having all the stuff all around me and taking up eye space, I made a little tray of things that I'm going to be using today. You're gonna to need a, a strip of fabric. And I, I often, I mean, I thought later that you could even use um, a wide strip of trim. I don't know how that would work. You're going to need string and a big needle or um, any implement that you make your holes. Um, a little washi tape and then I have original photos that I might be using. But I, I wanted to keep everything on this tray. Oh and some pins and, um, and little um, clips, the mini clips. And that's what you'll be needing if you're going to do this project. Okay, <clears throat> so what we start out with is, let me make sure the camera's still rolling. It is. I've already lost one video. Um, you're going to decide which one you want in the front. And what you do is, um, you take your fabric and you're going to want to do this first because it has to dry and that was my problem the first video I made um, I paused the video and when I went back and I thought I turned it on I did not <laughs> I finished that little booklet and I got up and said goodbye and it was not there was nothing so I'm making another one um, okay so the strip because she's going to be that way we're going to glue her down this way. Get it. And then this one is in the back of the booklet, so we'll glue it down that way. And I'm going to use my tacky glue. Okay. 
trying not to get too much, but I can't control this glue as well as the art glitter one. Then might as well get this. It's so thick coming out. I hope everyone is having a great day so far. Okay. And when you have bottles of glue, what I do is I just put it upside down in a jar so that it keeps coming out easier. Okay. We'll just push it down. And like I said, I live in the desert. It everything dries here really quickly, but I'm going to hope that this dries today so I can finish the video for you guys. Alrighty. And I don't know where I bought this. This is like, I think this is for hems. I don't know. I've had my supplies so long. I don't know where I get things. Alright, so that's what that looks like and it's just going to be drying for the moment. And we'll set that aside over here. <clears throat> and while that's drying, we're going to measure for our pages. And I've made this book three times, going on three times, so I know. The first page is, oh, I guess I don't know. Oh, music. The first page is a music page. So the easiest way to do that is just line it up with your envelope and then I just take a ruler. Clear rulers are really useful. You can see exactly where you're going to tear. I love them. And then the next page is the tea stained. And so Line it up. This is eight and a half by eleven, by the way. Okay. All right. That's page two. The next page will be your book page, and my book page is small, so. And then. The next page is the middle, and this is printed on a cream-colored paper, so I didn't double-side it. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure it's going to be too big anyway. I mean, this white width. Which side? Yeah, I want this side. Okay. I just want to say welcome and hello to my new subscribers. Every time Rachel or Leslie mentions me, I get a ton of new subscribers. So thank you to Rachel and, and Leslie. You guys are so sweet. So you're going to put your pages together, basically folding them in half. see if they fit and how they look. I don't know if you like that jagged edge. I'm going to trim some of it. A little bit too jagged. Okay. <clears throat> and let's see how this is drying. Because this is going to be your first pages, actually like that. 
So we'll let that dry a little bit and I will take out Angie's again just to make sure. Yeah, yeah, the first page are the, are the postcards. Okay, so that, believe it or not, that is getting more and more dry. So well, let's put that together and see this is already ripping. Um, let me show you the first one that I made. I did take a piece of um, kind of that cream colored paper and I backed it. I just put the glue here and backed it. Um, to give it strength. Um, but right now, because of time, I'm just going to add some washi to give it strength in that section. And it's not typical when you're recording. Things don't always line up. I guess because I'm concerned about where it tore. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna fold it over, which is why I chose this color because it does blend in. And then you're gonna wanna crease it again and then, let me check my camera again. Living in fear. <laughs> Funny fear, sorry. I make myself laugh. Okay, so that's that. I don't know how much of this I actually want exposed. Um, get rid of that part. And then, before we decorate it, I will just Get the um, signatures signed in, signed in, sewn in. Okay. Make sure everything's in there. Oh, I forgot my clips. Be right back. Be right back. <clears throat> I'll tell you, I thought I was so organized. Pulled everything for the first video and. By the time I was done, it looked like a tornado had gone through here on this table. And I realized that too much busyness kind of distracts from, you know, people watching your video. They just want to see the, the bottom line. They don't want to see the mess. <clears throat> Although some of the people's messes are very pretty. <laughs> Mine, not so much. <laughs> okay. Wait, that doesn't look right. <laughs> I know what I did wrong. I folded this the wrong way because I want this inside. The pretty part. Okay. And... Okay. Here we go. That's better. I love these jumbo clips. Oh, I did that last time as well. There we go. There we go. I have no idea what that looks like on screen. Okay, so I eyeball it. I'm going to go with this. I poke a hole there. I'm going to poke a hole here. Because there's just, what is that? How many pages? Really just four pages because you're, you're not going through the postcards. Um, it's easy to go through. Whoops. Too soon. Too soon. Put those back. Okay. So now you're going to choose your string of choice. <clears throat> I 
it's not going to go through, I can tell you right now. <clears throat> yeah. Much better. Okay, and I only put two. Most people put three. But these are so light. And remember that when you go in from inside, it's going to tie inside. Oh, why did I take that off? Yeesh. Okay. There we go. Hello. There we go. <clears throat> okay, pull it tight. All right, and so there you have your signature in. And there's your little booklet. And, and now we want to decorate it. I have literally copied Angie page for page, but you do not have to. And the reason why I didn't want to cover this is I like this blue. I thought that was so pretty. Oops, okay. And that's garbage. So what you choose to decorate with is the fun part. This is the fun part. And I'm just gonna clip things on without committing because I have a lot of happy mails I'm going to be sending out and I don't know which pieces are going and which pieces will be probably in my shop but um, so today I, I'm not going to be gluing much I'm just going to be I mean I will glue this don't really like that orange um, stamp um, but I'm just trying to Um, show you the, the gist of it. Okay. I use this glue for fabrics. I think most other people use Fabri-Tac. But this works. Add a little glue. Okay. Whoops. Did I move the phone? I am so sorry, you guys. <clears throat> okay, and so that might be enough for you. Um, you might want to add, you know, a stamp, another stamp. But for now, we're just going to do that. And then there's your postcard. And I think I'm going to add another picture. And then I'll show you the other ones I made when I'm finished. And then I'm going to add this sweet book page from Belgium. I just scored 60 of those. Love them. Little French page. And, um,. I think I'm getting more. I've been ordering so much ephemera because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not super, super happy with, um, oh, right. Um, my images being printed. So I'm going to start using all originals in some journals coming up. Coming up. <clears throat> so therefore, I had to buy more. I'm going to fold this and put it in here. And then there's
there's your signature. And I don't know what I'm going to do with her. But I think you guys get the idea. I think I will put that in. A little bit of gluing today. I actually had someone leave me a comment on YouTube that uh, my last video, they actually pulled a lot of stuff out of their supplies and created along with me. And you have no idea how happy that made me. I was like, yay. <laughs> okay. And that's it. That is a very, very easy little envelope. booklet and now I will show you the ones that I made um, oh then you can tie more string around it and you can actually use like embroidered pieces I mean you can have so much fun with these they're really a lot of fun I'll show you the ones that I made where am I at 21 oop it's gonna cut off <clears throat> Here are the ones that you guys missed. Um, this was actually the first one I created. And I love her. I just love it. Adding the French words to the picture. And this is the one I backed. Did I show you this? I might have shown you guys this. But this one, oh, I enjoyed it so much. And I have some blue ledger paper. I have a book of it, so... I need to get in there and take pages out. Yeah. This one, I had a lot of fun. Actually, these are from uh, Leela Levine in Hawaii. And uh, she has an Etsy shop. And I don't know if she makes the embroidery anymore. But, yeah, this is the one I made um, right after I received my Happy Mail from Angie. And I love this one. I just need to tie it up. It's ready to go to some somebody this is the one I made on camera that the video didn't turn out and it was just as fun I just love this piece all right I think the camera's gonna cut down you got cut off you guys but thank you for watching and I will be back real soon with some more fun talk to you soon bye